Hi, it's the MLM for the Soul Channel. I do have a new topic for today. Before I begin, I just would like to say, may the words and expressions of my mouth and the thoughts and meditations of my heart find favor and acceptance before you, Hashem. And the people I thank have inspired me. hope they can inspire you as well. I will have links below to their sites. They are Rabbi Yossi Mizrahi, Rabbi Eli Mansour, Rabbi Elon Anava, Rabbi Yuval Ovaj, Rabbi Daniel Asser, Rabbi David Ashin, Rabbi Yaron Vain. As well, if you've never checked out this channel before, I will have a link below to my first video which explains what MLM for the soul means, what it stands for, what I'm doing. So today I'm going off topic, so to speak, meaning I usually do the parasha, but um, with the situation in the world, whatever you know or whatever you care about, you know, virus, no virus, vaccine, no vaccine, whatever, but we all need protection from Hashem. That's our best protection. So the best protection ever is what I title this um, this one that I'm doing today uh, to share with you, and it's also coming up. Um, it'll be the holiday of Hanukkah. So I want to wish everyone Chag Hanukkah Sameach. Um, so this is from the Sefer Tehillim, and this is the Art Scroll one that I have with the interlinear translation. Now <laughs> I'm showing it to you, but it's very well used. I don't know if you can see all the tape here. So. Um, so I decided there's there's one the, all the all the um, the um, the chapters and the verses or the prakim however you want to call them <clears throat> have endless help for us um, of all different kinds. But there's one particular one. It's actually two, but the first one I don't know if I'll get to the second one. So we'll just start with the first one. Is um, Perek Tzadi Aleph or ninety one. And uh, in art school, what they do, and I will have a link also below to art school so you can check out what they offer. Um, so they usually do a little, like, kind of overview. That's why this is, and this is known. And actually, I think it was a rabbi, I don't remember which rabbi, that actually did a book on this on, with art school. So this one, it says in the overview, it says, By scorning conventional forms of protection and seeking refuge only in the Most High, meaning Hashem, the believer can live without fear of those who would harm him. And it doesn't have to be just people, it could be just anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just read through this. There's only 16 verses, so I think I could read through it in Hebrew and English, and then there's some commentary below that I'll read and maybe share some other things, just, you know, um, insights. So it starts like this, Pasuk Aleph, or, or one, Yoshev b'seter elyon b'tzel shadayit lonan. Whoever sits in the refuge of the Most High, in the protective shade of the Almighty, he shall dwell. So when it says that whoever sits in the refuge of the Most High, it's the person who scorns conventional forms of protection and seeks only the refuge provided by the Most High will find his faith rewarded. He will be enveloped by Hashem's providence so that he can continue to seek holiness and wisdom without fear of those who would seek to do him harm. So in the protective shape of the Almighty, he shall dwell. That's Rashi. So meaning, if you put Hashem, as we say, put Hashem in the picture, put Hashem in your life, and know that he is the only one that's going to protect you, you don't have to worry about anything, basically. Like we say, Eno Mavada, or keep saying that too when you're in a situation or the whole Pasuk is Hashem Hu Elohim Eno Mavado. It's actually longer. It's Atahareta Hayom Ladad Ki Hashem Hu Elohim. You know that um, you, you, you've, uh, I forget exactly what it is. It's from Devarim, and I don't remember exactly if it's 14.3 or 15.3, so don't quote me on that, but I'll put that below and I, I could put the whole Pasuk um, as well. Um, so continuing on, a, a bet or, or bays or two. Amor la Hashem machsi umitsudati Elohai eftachbo. I will say of Hashem, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. I will trust in Him, and I would say in Him only. I know that's not what David Hamelf wrote, but he's just saying that Hashem is the one that's protecting me. He's my strength and everything, and there's no one else I trust in. Kihu, and that's not a commentary. It's just me saying that. For he, meaning Hashem, whenever I say he, normally it's, it's capital H, will deliver you from the snare that entraps, from pestilence that is devastating. Then the next passage that was Gimel now Dalin, With his wing he will cover you, and beneath his wings you will be protected. His shield and armor are his truth. Now, Hashem doesn't have wings, so it's just a metaphor to say that, you know, he will be protecting you. Uh, the Pasuk, hey, or five, Lo tirami pachad laila 
Mechetu of your mom. You shall not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day. So for that, there is a, a commentary for you shall not fear the terror of night. So if you put your faith in Hashem, fear will be banished from your heart. That's according to Rashi. Um, basically, why would you fear anything if you have Hashem? It's right? That's all, that's all you need. Uh, so next Pasuk Vav, Midever ba'ofel yahaloch miketzev yashud soharayim. Nor the pestilence that in gloom walks, nor the destroyer who lays waste at noon. Zion, uh, which is uh, seven. Yipol mi tzidcha elef urivavav mi yiminecha elecha lo yigash. Fall victim at your side may a thousand, and a myriad at your right hand, but to you it shall not approach. So it's saying that others may have something happen to them, but not you. Uh, the next pasuk so that's eight. Rak be necha tabit vishilumat risha im tireh. Merely with your eyes you will peer, will you peer, and the retribution of the wicked will you see. So you'll just see what's happening to them and you'll be fine. Again, I'm just saying that unless I say it's the commentary. So uh, then Pasuk Tet, uh, or Tes, uh, is 9. Ki ata Hashem machsi, elyon samta ma'onecha. So again, he uses this word machsi. Because you said, you Hashem are my refuge. You is, is lowercase meaning of somebody said. You, Hashem, are my refuge in the Most High, have you made the abode of your trust. Your tent. Lo tu ne elecha ra'a benega lo yikrav ba'alecha. This is a, a key pasuk because of the word nega, and I'll tell you in a second. Not before you will evil and the plague, quote unquote, will not come near your tent. But here he's talking about something else, but we can relate it to what's going on now. So that's why I said that. So when it says, and a plague will not come near you, so the Talmud in Sanhedrin 103a perceives this as a blessing for domestic tranquility and that one will have worthy children and students who will not shame him. Next pasuk, Yudal of 10, Ki malachav yitzauvelach lishmarcha bechol drachecha. For his angels he will charge for you to protect you in all your ways. Yud bet, or Yud bez, 12, Al kapayim yisotnucha pen tigof ba'evin raglecha. On their palms they will carry you, lest you strike against a stone your foot. So a uh, commentary on, on their palms, they will carry it according to Targum. This can also be rendered your palms, meaning uh, the person. And so it says the angels are created by the commandments you perform with your palms, such as giving charity and doing acts of kindness. And that will raise you above all the dangers that lurk in, the, in your path. That's from Zara Yaakov. And then it continues on. Indeed, the commandments themselves with which a person surrounds himself, such as to fill him on his body, tzitzis on his garment, and a mezuzah on his doorpost, give him a constant awareness of Hashem, and are thus Hashem's angels that protect him from sin and harm. That's from the Rambam, Hilchot Mezuzah 6.13. Okay, next, uh, Yud Gimel 13. Al shachal bafet and tidroch termos kefir v'tanin. Upon the lion and the viper you will tread. You will trample the young lion and the serpent. So commentary upon the lion and the viper. So even when confronted by ferocious beasts, beasts and poisonous reptiles, you will simply tread on them and remain unharmed. So there you go. They can't harm you. And then I learned another thing. I think they, it wasn't from them directly, but Rabbi Mizrahi and some other rabbis have said this, um, that when you are doing the will of Hashem, the Ratzon of Hashem, Nothing can harm you. Look at Abraham. Look at, no, it wasn't Abraham. It was the Tanner H when he went into the fire. But I'm talking about with animals because he's thinking about the animals here. It was um, uh, Daniel and then Hananiah, Mishal, and Azariah. I think it was those three. They also went into a lion's den and they came out alive. So it's because when you're holy and you do holy things, the animals fear you. But when you're not, the animals attack you because they look at you as another animal, chas v'shalom, rachman al-etzlan, that's what it means. It's because you're acting like an animal. I, I would say actually less than an animal, but uh, that's what happens. Uh, so then they will not attack you. It doesn't matter how ferocious that animal was or is. Okay, and then continuing on, next pasuk, Yudalad, 14, ki vi chashak v'afal l'tehu asag vehu ki adashimi. Because for me, he has yearned, me is meaning Hashem, and I will deliver him, I will elevate him, for he knows my name. My is capital too. So when it says, because for me he has yearned, this is a commentary, from here to the end of, the, of, this, of, this, of the psalm, Hashem speaks in praise of him with assurance to the person who has faith in, Hash, in him. Okay, next pasuk, there's two more left. 
Tetvav or Tesvav, fifteen Ukraini, the Nehu, Imo, Anochi, Vitsara, Achal Tsehu, Achav Dehu. He will call upon me, that's Hashem, and I will answer him. Together with him am I in distress. I will release him and I will bring him honor. So because he calls Hashem, that's that. And then the last Pasuk, um, see, I think that's the last comment. Yeah, last Pasuk, Tetzai in 16. Orech yamim asbi ehu bar ehu bi Yeshua ti. With long life will I satisfy him and I will show him my salvation. So when it talks about I will show my salvation, commentary is he will witness the salvation I will bring about at the advent of the Mashiach. And I say, Mehev yamenu, speaking in our days, at the time of the revival of the dead and at the salvation of the world to come. That's from, according to Radak. And then continuing on a little more. Indeed, it is not Hashem who needs salvation, but Israel, meaning uh, B'nai Israel. It's talking about. Yet Hashem calls Israel's victory my salvation. To emphasize that Israel's salvation is as if it was his as well. That's from Midrash Socher Tov. Because it says that like, Hashem is with us in exile. He feels our agony, even though technically, or not technically, even though he doesn't feel things, but it's just a metaphor to say that he's in that same pain that we are. Um, so I think I'll stop here. I may try to do that other one another time. But I just wanted to share that with you. In case you've never read this, or maybe you have read this uh, chapter in Tehillim, but it's very crucial, and I, I actually uh, say it every single day, and I actually know it by heart already. I've seen it, said it so many times, so it's good to have that. It's good to have um, some Tehillim that you know, that you know by heart, so you could say if you're ever in a situation where you feel like you're not protected, to say that, of course, you could say Eno Movado, or the whole Pasuk that I said that was from um, Devarim. But it's good to have that handy in your head, so to speak, so you could just say it off the top of your head. I mean, there's ones most people know, like the uh, ones from Hallel are in Tehillim, you know, so you could always say that. But this is a key one because it mentions about protection. So I hope you will consider that. And again, I just want to wish everyone a Chag Chanukah Sameach. And I hope and pray that we will all merit to live and see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our days and rebuilding of our final and everlasting Beit HaMegdash. Amen. And thanks for watching.